In future, I would like UniKL BMI to be the center of excellence in renewable and energy efficient studies. came back, I feel that masa tu BMI tu macam in a time capsule. I went 2008, came back 2012, I feel BMI is still the same. And since I was given the opportunity to become dean, so I like to do a lot. And going forward, hybrid education will stay remain fixed. So still, uh, the universities like UniKL will remain relevant. Uh, kalau kita punya courses tu does not need any labs and so on maybe we have to think whether going 10, 5 to 10 years from now either we will be still relevant eh? sebabnya sekarang ni kalau budak-budak online especially kalau software and so on dia orang boleh je join online classes get certification mungkin daripada MIT, Harvard eh? ataupun Google pun dah keluarkan certification but because we have the hands-on punya element so I I believe that we are still relevant going forward 5, 10 or 20 years from now lah. Kita ada the whole campus is electrical electronic punya campus. So campus ni kita concentrate on communication, on electrical power, on general electronics and also one of the things yang kita are the pioneer, kita the first in Malaysia that introduce this program medical electronics until now very relevant uh, so we have these four core courses that kita ada now we are moving quite big in terms of the renewable energy we are introducing new programs uh, introducing new programs uh, bachelor engineering technology electrical in sustainable in sustainable yeah uh, we got a government grant under rmk11 to develop one one new center uh, a, a nice building i can say a very nice building uh, Insyaallah, kalau jadi as per design, we're going to be the first net zero building in Malaysia. You can see that renewable is something on kata apa, uh, the country are looking into sustainability. So we moving very strongly into this solar energy. So our studies to uh, look into the solar energy, but not just in solar energy lah. Kita juga look into other energy sources kan. Uh, we we also go into a little bit on the wind energy just for for the students to understand uh, energy generation, not necessary solar uh, renewable energy generation, not necessary solar. It can be uh, wind, it can be biogas, it can be geothermal, etc. We are the only universities yang orang kata apa ada program charging lah. And at the same time, bila kita tengok the uh, especially the the recent RMK plan kan where the the country is seeding in terms of industries kan another industries yang dia tengok is on the semiconductor industries lah and which is we we are uh, kata apa uh, we have a big teams uh, big expert in it uh, so what we do we collaborate dengan dengan most dengan MIMOS and the KPT under under SIAP program uh, structured internship program they say, to prepare semiconductor engineers of the future. I will introduce one new program for this this initiative. So what we are doing now, we are introducing one new program, Bachelor Electronic in Semiconductor, and we believe the graduates that we we prepare yeah, uh, will be highly sought after by the industry. I can say the our two new courses, yeah, uh, semicon, uh, renewable. Uh, very much current uh, because what we do especially dekat renewable ni we are benchmarking against uh, other universities yang current tapi kelebihannya kita sekarang ni what we uh, is that we are we also benchmarking against what the industry wants so what we do we our program kita embed kan kita top up kan dengan professional certificate for example kalau yang ambil renewable energy ni 
eh, Bachelor Engineering Technology Electrical in Sustainable Dia orang will be top up dengan two professional set One is grid connected PV designer And another one is energy manager So this is two eh, Dengan dengan degree nya tu Plus this two uh, I think they have ad additional advantage when they go out uh, to the industries because they already have the know-how, have the hands-on experience on it.